Hi everyone, this is Mitch from the SportsChatPlace.com, and it's Tuesday, October 20th, 2009, and it's time for our Tuesday Boxing Talk. Yeah, we had a great weekend of boxing. The Showtime Super 6 tournament kicked off this past weekend. Did not disappoint in the least. Um, in, in, in the first bout, King Arthur Abraham knocking out Jermaine Taylor in the, in the final round. Um, you know, he was ahead on points. Abraham started slow, uses that, um, you know, peekaboo style. And then, uh, you know, boy, he was delivering out the damage to Taylor, sent it to the canvas. Taylor taken to the hospital with concussion. Jermaine Taylor, we wish you the best. But if you're going to fight like that, um, probably maybe time to hang up the gloves. Um, you had a good career, maybe, uh, you know, you find a good career in something else. Um, in the other fight... Carl Frock all over uh, Andre Durrell. Just uh, a really, he just looked like a better fighter even than the Frocks that we saw beat Jermaine Taylor recently. Um, so, so two, two in, in in the Super Six tournament. And boy, I, I hope this is something they start to do in every uh, division. Of course, coming up next is um, uh, Ward up against Tesla, and we're looking forward to that. Another thing that's coming up is uh, HBO 24-7 uh, coverage, Pacquiao Cotto. This should be the most interesting 24-7 in a while because the last 24-7 that we saw for Marquez and uh, Mayweather, boy, it was a real stinker. It was unwatchable television, um, some of the worst TV. Uh, I, I, I never even made it through an entire episode, and I'm a big fan of 24-7. Uh, apparently, Marquez drinks drinks urine. Um, you know, we, we found that out, but boy, that 24-7 was as boring as the fight. We know that Manny is uh, a little more entertaining than that. Probably, uh, we, we can only guess that Miguel Cotto is more entertaining than that, because it's tough to not be more entertaining than that Marquez Mayweather. And boy, a not entertaining 24-7, not an entertaining fight either. And, uh, you know, let's hopefully Manny and, uh, and Miguel do a little bit better. Uh, it's going to be tough not to. We're, we're about, a, we're inside a month away from uh, that fight out in Vegas. Manny's standing at minus, minus uh, 250, and uh, Miguel at plus 200 odds on that thing. We're following them closely. They fluctuated very little since they've come out, but they have. Of course, uh, the, the over-under is at 9.5 rounds. It's plus 110 for the over and minus 135 for the under. So most people not expecting this fight to go the distance. Now, uh, another fight that's on the horizon, and another fight we're going to want to keep our eye on is Chad Chad uh, Dawson versus Glenn Johnson. Um, you know, Dawson, a huge favorite in this fight. This thing's going down um, uh, on November 7th, uh, you know, the week before Pacquiao, Cotto. And, uh, you know, definitely a fight we're going to be, uh, you know, following real close. We've got a couple other fights on, on the schedule coming up, and we'll be checking them out, um, you know, more in depth as the weeks go on. In any event, we're going to wrap up this week's Tuesday Boxing Talk. This is Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out all of our sports picks right-ups in action at SportsChatPlace.com. Have a great day.